So one of the first things I found when we slept in the van is we had a heater on, we were connected up to the power, and even though we've got a diesel heater, it's often obviously free of charge or included in whatever you uh, do with your pitch, you know, the cost of the pitch. So I thought we'd get a different type of heater. This is a ceramic one. It's not as noisy, we hope, and this just has a warm-up and cool-down setting. So we're just going to give this a bit of a review, see what it's like. 15 quid from uh, Argos. And we're going to probably use this as the winter nights come in. So we're just going to have a little look. It looks cheap. I'm going to try and take it out without damaging it. So in case it's rubbish. And uh, we'll see. So, so far in the box, we've got plug in the unit. It's going to take this out. Now I've got to have the most scratchable top in the world. But this is gloss finish. So I'm using these. The best thing we have. I've got these all over the camper to stop anything scratching. So we're going to put this down here. We're going to open this up. And we're going to turn it on and see how loud it actually is. So that's the main thing is if this is going off all night, I don't want this to be waking me up or the kids up. There we go. So, heat controls. We've got it. What have we got here? Three settings. Fan, heat one and heat two. So I guess that just increases the, the output of this. So... Let's plug her in, let's get wired up, and uh, see what it's like. So right, we're all hooked up. So a little red light's on. So that red light stays on, even though actually, we're actually not actually on at the moment. So it stays on anyway. So we'll put this into uh, fan mode. Not too bad. It's kind of a bit noisier than what I thought it would be. But I'm wondering if it changes. No. So if you turn it onto heat mode, the fan speed stays exactly the same. But the one thing is to call is no light coming from the actual unit itself. And that's heating the van up quite nicely actually. Yeah, it's a decent heat, and that's on setting one. Ah, it's got a built-in safety underneath. Always good for an awning or even inside here. And that's on setting one. The heat coming out of that's pretty, pretty good anyway. I'm gonna turn it up one more, and that's on full heat. And this is your thermostat. Not a massive click, which is another thing that kind of works. So, it's the clicking noise. Yeah, that's good. Not bad buy for fourteen pound. If even if I don't keep it in here and we use it for the awning, I'm happy with that. Ceramic, it's important. It's not got the element. It's a nice ceramic version. It's not too much heat near this mat either, which I was just worried about. I think there's enough distance between the bottom and the top here to not cause any issues. And it is really lightweight and it is small, really small, and that will go away quite easily in, in one of my cupboards somewhere. That's so fast looking good. Yeah, I, I think this overall rating for the, mark, for the money, $14.99, is absolutely bang on. I definitely would uh, recommend this. The only thing I would say, it doesn't have a remote control, but hey, when you're sleeping there and it's going to be over here, it's not really too, not really too far to go.